mortarmen have one job. Hanging around. Hearing cannons go off in the distance, and you hear that distinctive sound, feeling the compression in your chest. Every time a round leaves that cannon, we're doing our job. <laughs> well, we're both airborne. We're, they're technically, we call them legs. Meet Team Echo from the 82nd Airborne Division. I'm Corporal Alec Norton. Corporal Jacob Nolan. I'm Staff Sergeant James Pennington. And I'm Sergeant Ryan Mosser. We got up at uh, 4.30 a.m. and then we were down for the PT test or the uh, Army new PT test at about 5.15. It was incredibly difficult, especially waking up and doing it in uniform. And then just, I mean, I don't know, at four, five, three, five o'clock in the morning, that is extremely demanding. I thought it was gonna be fun, and then I started getting into it, and I'm like, this is extremely difficult. But you just gotta keep the motivation going. We know our jobs, we do them every day, but to come down here and compete in the best motor competition, it really shows not only ourselves and proves to ourselves, but it shows to the other units that we have bragged no over doing. Their road to becoming the Army's best mortar team isn't going to be easy. Watch that, Sergeant! It will take every ounce of skill and determination to surpass their toughest competitors. 75th Ranger Regiment was uh, definitely a team that we were um, prepared to go up against, uh, which they proved to be. Um, right up there with us. I was. I don't think it's so much beating the 75th Ranger Regiment. It was just beating every single competitor that came up here. The 75th Ranger Regiment typically gets more funding and more training than some of the other units that we're competing against. I just think it just goes to show that we're capable of beating any team that comes here. Everyone can do their job when the situation's easy. But when we're out here and we're getting smoked, we're doing these obstacle courses, and we're running around, and we're tired, and we're running on low sleep, that's when it shows who really knows how to do their job confidently and who can succeed here. I think it's a pretty good mix between physical and technical, and that's why you just kind of have to cater to each other's strengths. Like, for instance, on this last one, we were laying in the section, we knew Sergeant Mosser knew how to use the M2 aiming circle better than everybody else, mm -hmm. so everyone else was on the gun line. So just knowing your team and how to manipulate them to offset from your way. Elevation! Just because we know our strength and weaknesses, we keep each other laughing all the time so that we're always staying focused, staying happy, keeping motivated, and just picking each other up. That's how we treat our platoon. We act as a family. I'm not going to be around the bush. It feels pretty good. It's nice to walk around. Mortars is such a small community. See guys they've either competed with or heard about this competition, and they recognize you or know you for doing your job so successfully that you can win. And by those younger guys being able to look up to us as leaders and, and say, okay, so they're not just teaching me useless things. These are factors that are very useful to my job, very useful to winning. It was a very humbling moment. You know you put it all on the line and left all you have, and you come out on top. Doing with this group of guys, it couldn't be any better. So, and representing the 82nd makes it just that much better. Very proud to bring it back home and uh, keep leading from the front, and that's the best way you can lead. That's what we're going to continue to do.